welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Please remember that I sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catspitscreenprintsupply.com online and I have a storefront right here in Phoenix, Arizona where you can visit me Monday through Friday and Saturdays. Check out my websites for more information about location and hours of operation. Today I wanted to try to give you some tips on how to adjust and set your belt on your belt dryer or your conveyor dryer. Okay, this is really important because when we sell screen printing equipment, we sell belt dryers, the belt itself is often not warranted with the machine. And the reason is that the belt itself has to be put on by the customer and it has to be tracked and adjusted by the customer. Here's the thing, this is the major problem. If the belt is adjusted incorrectly and it's too tight, it's going to damage the belt and or possibly damage the motor. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take a look at what are the best tips for when you're setting up your belt on your conveyor dryer or your belt dryer. This is the entrance portion of the belt on my Ranar CureStar 4000, which I also sell these dryers. This is one of my popular models. And you'll see the belt motor is here and the entrance portion is normally a little bit longer than the exit. There are no belt adjustments on this side, but you can see where my belt is tracking. It's tracking straight, but it's a little bit off to the left, and that's okay, that's fine. As long as it tracks straight, you're good, and uh, whether it's centered on the pulleys or not, you know, you want it more or less in the center, but if it's off just a little bit like that, don't worry about it. Okay, so let's take a look at the adjustments on the CureStar 4000 and then we'll also take a look at how you adjust the belt on even the scamp. This is the exit portion of the belt dryer on the CureStar 4000 and on either side of the deck you're going to have this little bolt here that you can access through this hole and it's on both sides okay and this little bolt will move the pulley forward or backwards okay so we have to make adjustments on both of these on either left and right sides in order to track the belt properly and we're going to make those little turns in very small increments and then we're going to run the belt and see how it tracks because it can take a little time for the belt to miss track all right first of all the number one and single most important tip that i can give you is simply do not over tighten the belt Okay, you should be able to do this. Okay, you see that? You see how I can move the free rolling pulley and the belt slides? Okay, there's slack in here. Okay, so you should be able to spin your pulley and the belt should stay stuck on the, on the motor side. And that will, is one, you know, one indication that you have enough slack. Let me see if I can explain this to you easily enough okay for tracking and I have this ruler here to help explain and exaggerate what the pulley is doing alright and obviously the goal is is that what we need to have in order for the belt to track properly and stay in the center and not move to one side is both pulleys need to be parallel to one another now there's no real way to just do that so you have to track them now when you first assemble the belt and put the belt on and you run it, okay, if the belt moves to the right, what does that mean? Okay, that means this pulley in the back here, because the, the, the motor pulley doesn't adjust, it's only the rear free pulley that adjusts, right? So we have to make this one parallel to the, to the front. And, uh, well, that's the ideal goal anyway, right? So when the pulley is moving off to the right, what that actually means is that your pulley is like this. Okay, so the ruler I'm using to over-exaggerate a representation of the angle of the pulley that's causing the belt to move this way, right? Do you follow? Because it's loose over here, it's tight over here. So as the pulley rolls, which way is the belt going to go? It's going to go off to the right. Same thing for vice versa. If the pulley is angled this way and it's, you know, farther in on that side than it is on this side, the belt is going to move that way. 
Okay, so that means that if you come back here and your pulley is going off to this side, that means the pulley's like this. So we have to go to this adjustment bolt over here in the, in the deck arm and push the pulley out a little bit. And then allow it to track, run the belt and allow it to track again. It takes a little time. This could take you several days to a week or more to track your pulley when you first get your belt dryer set up because it just takes a little time to see which way it's going to go. Okay, so that's basically the major, two major things. It's either this way or this way. That's basically it. And it's, the, the belt is either moving to the left or the right, and you're going to have to make an adjustment on either side or both to make the pulley as parallel as possible to the front pulley so that it tracks as straight as could be. All right, so here's another tip for you. You can check your slack under the belt dryer. Okay, you see here's my belt and it drops a little bit. Do you see that? It's dropping and sagging a little bit underneath the dryer. It's not taut, it's not flat, straight up taut, all tight up, tucked in under there. It's dropped and it sags a little bit. This is my slack, okay? The slack is very important, critical. Here's a little Scamp DX200. I just wanted to show this to you. It's in my showroom, so the lighting is a little bit different here. But this one will have the same type of adjustments. You see? It's done with these little guys here, and you just simply turn this bolt, or you know, this one you hold, make sure this one stays, it doesn't move, and this little one here, you turn. Okay, and it's basically the same thing. We need to make sure that the belt is tracking, okay, and always, always, I cannot stress it that, you know, slack, slack, okay? The deal is, is the belt should only be tight enough to move and, and you know, rotate and move on the, on the pulleys, but loose enough that, you know, you should be able to spin the free pulley around a little bit, okay? And the tightness is, it's just tight enough so that it'll move, okay? So that's basically what you're looking for, that tightness where it's just enough that it moves and not too little to where, where it slides. And that's the, that's the tightness you're looking for. Any more than that can damage the belt or possibly even damage your motor, your belt motor. Adjusting your belt on your belt dryer, your conveyor dryer, or uh, tracking the belt is kind of like setting off contact on the press. It's one of the most difficult things to do with setting up the dryer, okay? But just know that it takes time, okay? And there's really no wrong way to do it. You just kind of got to tweak the two adjustments back and forth on the adjuster pulley until you get it to track straight, okay? And the most important, critical, number one tip that I can give you is make sure the belt has slack. Do not over tighten the belt, okay? That will ruin the belt and it could even possibly burn out the belt motor, okay? So always make sure your belt on your conveyor dryer, your belt dryer, has some slack. It has to have some slack, okay? All right, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to message me or leave them in the comments below. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching my video today. I do really appreciate your time and attention very much. If you like my videos, you like the tips I give, you use the tips, then please subscribe. Subscribe today. I need your support to keep making these videos free right here on YouTube. So subscribe right now. Makes kittens happy, right? <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.